In this video, we'll be discussing about the female sex hormones, also known as sex steroids, sex corticoids, or gonadocorticoids. In female sex hormones, we have estrogens, progestogens, and androgens. In estrogen class, we have E1 that's estrone, E2 that's estradiol, E3 estriol, and E4 estetrol. In progestogens, we have important hormone that's progesterone. And in androgens, we have testosterone, but this is synthesized in minute quantities in females. And we also see some other hormones associated with female sex hormones, which are called gonadotropins like FSH, LH, HCG. But these hormones are not sex hormones. So in nutshell, we have two major class of female sex hormones, estrogens and progestogens. First of all, let's discuss the estrogens. We have estrone, estradiol, estriol, estetrol, referred as E1, E2, E3, and E4 respectively. The E1 has one-third the estrogenic potency of estradiol. And this is the primary estrogen circulating after the menopause. The E1 estrogen is synthesized in ovaries and it's a weak steroid. Second is the E2, that's estradiol. It is a strong steroid which is predominant in premenopausal women. It's synthesized in ovaries and corpus luteum. Third is estriol which is weak steroid and is least potent. This estrogen is found in pregnant women, where 90% of this hormone is synthesized by placenta. And then we have E4 that's estetrol estrogen, which is native estrogen of fetal life. Estetrol is produced exclusively by fetal liver and is found in detectable levels only during the pregnancy. Now let's head towards some physiological functions of estrogens in general. First is it aids in the development of female reproductive tract. Second is development of female secondary sexual characters. Third is stimulation of proliferative phase of menstrual cycle. Fourth one is vasodilation. And fifth one is maintain the integrity of skeleton in reproductive age. So these are the important functions of estrogens. And if we see its involvement in menstrual cycle, we see estrogen levels rise and fall twice during the menstrual cycle. The estrogen levels rise during the mid follicular phase as shown in the diagram and then drop steeply after ovulation. Then it's followed by a secondary rise in estrogen levels during the mid luteal phase with a decrease at the end of menstrual cycle which has been depicted in the diagram also. Then we have the second important hormone which is progesterone. It's endogenous steroid hormone involved in menstrual cycle, pregnancy and embryogenesis of humans. This hormone is formed in corpus luteum in early pregnancy and in placenta in late pregnancy period. And this hormone is present in luteal phase of menstrual cycle as shown in the diagram. Now heading towards its functions. We see in luteal phase that after evolution we get significant amounts of progesterone. It makes the endometrium receptive to implantation of embryo that's decidualization. It triggers the lining to thicken. This progesterone also inhibits the muscle contractions in the uterus. Then we see during 7 to 10 weeks of pregnancy, the placenta begin to secrete progesterone hormone, supporting the corpus luteum. And it must be noted that there are some metabolic functions of these sex hormones also, which we are not going to discuss here. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting me more on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.